Can you age a wine in screw cap? We're gonna answer that right now. Can you, Welcome back to Drinking It In. I am your host, Chris Cassara. We are here to help you know more and drink better. And today we're gonna to talk about the potential for aging wines in a, under a screw cap. Um, lots of wineries, more and more every day, are putting out wines and screw caps, including some wineries that are, you know, pretty pricey. So, you know, I figured it'd be worth um, talking about because I've done a number of, I've, I've done a lot of research on this. I've also played around with it in my in my cellar, you know, just to, to see, right? And, and um, you know, and here are the results. I think in the end, the, the answer is yes, right? You can. Now, don't go out and, you know, try to age a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc or a Yellowtail Shiraz that you may have under a screw cap. But the point is, if you have a quality wine that has some characteristics that make for aging, you can age them if they, even if they have a screw cap. Um, what happens, I think, if you think about the difference between a cork and a screw cap, because a screw cap is obviously, you know, shouldn't let in any more um, oxygen, um, is that it's going to age the wine in a slower manner. So um, that you can that can benefit you in a lot of ways, um, and it will also you know so so keep that in mind. Like if you're used to aging a wine, a red wine for ten years, and you're expecting the same results out of aging a wine under screw cap for ten years, I think what you're going to find is that less of those tertiary notes come through, and the fruit is going to be more present for longer. Um, I think the, you know, obviously, I guess, second, second thing to note about aging wines under screw cap is it reduces, it removes the risk of cork taint, right? So that's, it can't happen. There's no cork in it. So you don't have the risk that a wine is going to, um, to spoil. Um, naturally, you have to store the wine correctly or properly, right? So just make sure you're not cooking the wine because the temperature is getting too hot or the temperatures are fluctuating really, really significantly. Um, but, you know, obviously it eliminates the cork um, taint problem. I think the, the other thing that's worth, that is um, good to note, right, for those who may not have a, you know, a custom built wine cellar that has like humidity controls or a basement that has, you know, is naturally humid, is that it kind of eliminates the need to have um, a humid environment for that. It's really more about temperature and keeping the wine out of, you know, any sort of light, you know, away from any light source. So if you've got a, um, you know, a spot in your house that is naturally cool, but maybe is kind of dry, right? Doesn't matter, right? Age your, uh, you know, some German Rieslings and some Australian wines, uh, you know, in that area of the house. Um, and so talking about like wines to consider, I think, you know, it's wines that, that always, you know, that you would under any circumstance consider for aging, you know? The usual suspects. I'll list out some some in the comment, you know, in the um, in the description below, just so you have a, a, a sense for it. But you know, if I saw a nice 2021 German Riesling that was bottled under screw cap, I would absolutely go after that. If I see some Gruner Veltliners from uh, from Austria, absolutely uh, go and um, you know and, and stick that in your cellar for for a while. Um, when you think of the countries that have done the most around screw caps and have the longest experience and have also experimented with aging their wines under screw cap, uh, I think you want to look to Australia, New Zealand, and even South Africa. So if you see some wines from well-known producers in those three countries and they have screw caps, you know, just know that they have a lot more um, experience with the screw cap um, you know, process in their history and also with aging the wines under it. Um, you know, under the screw cap. Um, one thing to look out for, just to be safe, and also to, for you to be careful for, is that you know, is that you don't have um, any you know dings in the cap. Like the cap is nice and smooth, and you know it hasn't been damaged in any way, because that could you know potentially lead to some oxygen getting into the wine, and then you have a different um, a different bit of an experience. That's all I got. Um, I'd like to know what you think in the comments about just screw caps in general, right? Do you shy away from wines that have a screw cap? Do you shy away from aging wines that have a screw cap? Um, or are you just, do you just 
you know, are you a sucker for that cork pop and, like me and you really just love a, love a cork, uh, you know, popping a cork from a wine. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.